My favorite memory was at the end when we can hold that W up. We won. <laughs> Coach Ryan? <laughs> My favorite memory is uh, when the head football coach kicked the football uh, <laughs> during the pregame warm ups. That's their coach. <laughs> that coach. Uh, we were trying to work on the kickoff and all this stuff, and he just kind of kicked that ball a little bit. And that kind of ticked me off, so I kind of always remember that. Coach Ryan? I remember uh, uh, Griff taking a knee. We knew it was over. <laughs> we, knew I, we knew that was it. And the bus ride home and all the people here when we got here. Quite a night. Quite a day. Uh, I remember the locker room after the ball game. The, just the five weeks we had been through with, with these young men, or the 15 weeks, but the five weeks at that time, and just being in that locker room, seeing uh, all the happy faces, uh, that's something I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Let's start with you. I don't know the same thing. The, you know, the family atmosphere after the game, you know, all that hard work, not only that year, but the previous years, but, you know, it was all just kind of came together at, at one time, and that was, you know, the celebration point, definitely. Yeah. Well, I think I remember the most after the game is uh, just looking up in the stands and seeing the support we had from our community. I mean, we knew we had a close-knit group, and we knew we had a special team, but to see almost 10,000 people from Phoenix City and Birmingham yeah. And the celebration was just a special memory. Um, probably piggybacking off of what they say is the camaraderie being tight with the team. But I can remember before we left, we had pulled our chairs out on the balcony at the Fairfield Inn and listening to a little music. It's a bluebird sky. And just to have grown up your whole life, you know, these guys was coaching when I was a kid, you know, and just wanting to be out on that field. And, through, you know, having done that, but to be going me and my boys and knowing that, hey, we're fixing to play for what we talk about every day as a football player, and that's winning a championship. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, the bus ride over there. Uh, we, was, we was a close-knit group, and we just had a great time on the bus, uh, excited about the game, ready to play. And I also can't forget our uh, middle linebacker, Eric Prier, Coach Wright had us so prepared, well prepared. He was calling out every play. Every time the guys went about he was like, he finna run that way, he run that way. And then and, and it showed it. Oh, that's what I remember most. All right, I, I remember one play that I made um, on a crucial drive. Um, Intercept the ball and stop the drive, and, and that was in the fourth quarter. And also how these guys alluded to how tight we were and how we played as a big family, and, and we trusted one another. Played a little bit both ways. Calvin Crow played a little bit both ways. Adam and me and Brandon, um, that was five of us. Yeah. Consistently. When it came around to it, Gordy was supposed to, but he was. Oh, Gold Boy got the quarterback and safety. They wouldn't let him go out there. We didn't need to let him go out there. I told look, I'm on the defensive stats. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. With all zero. Really <laughs> <laughs> and no numbers on there. He played one whole <laughs> game. We got at Northview. Yeah. No, he, he had to. God, every yeah. year we played Northview, I was here winning the overtime. All three years. Okay. Yeah. And, and really? Uh, them son time. of a guns, my senior year when Carice Davis was the running back, right. we go into overtime, we score, kick extra point, they score, and go for two. Mm -hmm. This is coming off the of station loss. And I can remember sitting in that defensive line, they're walking, thinking, if they this, we're gonna be one and freaking two. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been one and two. And then they start coach. I need to know yeah. why they quit playing the Rocky Fight song. What, what's going on with that? I don't know. I mean, why are they playing when they got back? I mean, they were playing while I was here. I, I don't know. But somebody told me that they quit doing it. They play. Um, they'll play when we come out, but they play it like uh, sometime during the game. As long as they play it sometime yeah, during the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't play it as much as they do. Only you would think of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Anytime it was a crucial play, you get your horns up and you hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man, that's that's from the time I was a kid yeah, watching them play out there and just wanted to be out there on the field. To the time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I just know this right here that you know when you win a, a high school championship, that's a special thing because you know to me is like Griff said earlier, the community was there and it was amazing how many people from Phoenix City that was in Birmingham. You know, I had been in Birmingham a lot of times, but, mm -hmm. you know, just to see Phoenix City being represented in, in Legion Field, that was that was tremendous. Coach? Well, winning the championship, 
it really, it really, it really opened my eyes to how blessed I really was at the time and how blessed I am to have had the opportunity to coach and work with these guys and be on the tutors of Coach Trevick and I think that taught me how to prepare for, to win for a state championship and how to react after you win one. So I think, you know, a lot of that goes to uh, Coach Trevick and his leadership and um, I think you know, it's helped me as a coach right now, especially as a head coach. I tell you, it was, uh, I'd gone to a lot of state championship games. And would watch the players and coaches and how happy they were after the ball game. And you always wanted, you know, that to happen to us one day, not me, us. And uh, and of course it did. And uh, and certainly that was an excitement that uh, that uh, I won't ever forget. But I was blessed, number one, to have some great players that worked their butt off. And we practiced long and hard, probably too long. I probably didn't manage time too well. <laughs> we weren't going to we weren't gonna get beat because we didn't put our time in. It'd be other things I did wrong. Uh, but you know, to go through that and work so hard and then come out and finally, finally, finally <clears throat> make it. Uh, and, and, and I hope it happens again. I hope it happens again that uh, uh, I'm not, my ego isn't such that I want to be the only coach that ever wins a state championship. I hope Coach Lowe wins win, win one in a hurry or, or anybody else who's coaching here. But uh, it's just a blessing to be a part. And so many people may not know, but I had the best coaches anybody in the state had. I mean, I really did. And these three guys right here, offense coordinator, defense coordinator, and we got Coach Lowe on board. And, which uh, I don't think we would have won it without him. Everybody had a part. Yeah, I don't great. know about that. We had some good coaches anyway. <laughs> but, um, great coaches. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think, you know, when you look around all the, the schools, this is the center state of Alabama, and there's only so many people can say that they won a championship. To be in that fraternity uh, of, of coaches, knowing that, that, uh, that all the hard work and all the sacrifice and the time away from home, that you, that you finally got that reign, uh, it's just it's, it's the ultimate. I mean, uh, it, it it made it, my, it made my coaching career to the point where I feel satisfied because I had an opportunity to play in that state championship game. Yeah. Um, you know, when you play sports, you're already already going to have a bond with who you play with. But I think that state championship, you know, kind of besides the coaches and, and players, but you know, everybody in the community, mm -hmm. you 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 know, you see them and you're recognized for that year. And, you know, when you see your, your fellow teammates or coaches, I mean, that bond is just a little bit, but probably even more stronger because, you you know, you share so much with, you know, that team. And you still feel like you're part of that team no matter what. And, and it's just something that is so rare because Central's had a, quite a bit of talent and quite a bit of good teams come through mm -hmm. out of the years, uh, even before us and after us. And, I mean, that was just – you know, such a hard, hard thing to do is, is win five in a row and share something with somebody for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, t looking back 20 years, there's no question the relationships that we developed mean more to me than anything. Um, seeing the coaches, I might not have seen them. I'm, lo I'm fortunate that I live in the community. I get to see them a lot. But when I was off at school or coming back, it was like, just picking up from the last time we had seen one another. And the bonds we have with our coaches and with our teammates is just un unbelievable. And that's one of the most important things, is the relationships, but also the life lessons we learned. You know, um, the, one, the thing our coaches did more than anything is they taught us that hard work, dedication, commitment, and trusting in one another is what would make us successful. And luckily we had a team that bought into that. And uh, and you, you look 20 years now to, at your life and you see a lot of the things that we learned on that football field that apply to our life now and, and make us successful in what we do now. Yeah. Um, I think one, one of the things, ultimately, if you're an athlete and you're a ball player, what you seek is that championship, that ring, you know, that is the ultimate. And once you achieve it, nobody can ever take it away from you. You know, it's just like getting a college degree. No matter what happens in your life, you know, in 1993, me and the rest of our family and, and these coaches, we were the best in the state of Alabama. And, uh, you know, talk about what Griff said, life lessons. I mean, there's no doubt, you know, you when you come up with these coaches and all you know is them, 
once you venture out away from here and you really start to realize how lucky we are to have the coaching staff that we have. I mean, they're legendary. They were they were coaching when I was a kid playing ball and, you know, didn't get up and get to play for them. And, and just, I mean, we were extremely lucky to be taught how to play the game. I can, there's things wrong. Coach Nelson said, you know, guys, it's not a matter of if you deal with adversity, it's when and how do you respond to it. All you can ask for in life is a chance. Tough times never last. Tough people do. I mean, there are things to this day that these guys taught me that, that I apply to my life. Uh, it helps me uh, really appreciate the fact that uh, what we went through and, and how hard it was to get there. And uh, being that I went off and came back here and started back coaching in this, in this city, it, it, it reconnected those uh, bonds we had with the friends and the coaches. And, and I had an opportunity to come back, was blessed, and work on some of the same coaches who coached me. I learned a great deal from them, and uh, it really showed me how hard it is to win a state championship, and I always value that. Well, basically, like you guys said, uh, for me, it changed my life. Uh, I was in the 10th grade starting, and to be honest with you, I just wanted to start and just, and really, I didn't think about state championship. But as the season progressed, you know, we got better, and we started winning the ball games, and, and really, we started believing. And do y'all recall the black tape? That oh, yeah. 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 Eddie, I think Eddie or Woodrow, somebody did. And but that signified the ring that we were gonna get at the end of the season. And we just started believing, we started working our tail off and and, and Coach Lowe came in and, and what he did instilled in us just hard work because he played at a high level and he worked us to death, but it paid off. I can remember your first day when we were when I was a sophomore and we went to Shaw and got our physicals done or which school is it out there? We got to get our Shaw. 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 I mean, we didn't even start practice. <coughs> And we come back and we're on that bus and Coach Lowe gets on there and starts telling us how we were talking over there and not hushing and that, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was scared to death, you know. Oh, he did. Yeah, you he did it what? last long, did he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know he's going to be afraid of <laughs> Y'all remember that today? It's the first week of the game. Yeah, so, it's yes. on Tuesday and we're playing Shaw that Friday. Well, then we did that plus five, minus five, where if we didn't get five yards, we had to go back and start at well, the five yard line, but we could only advance five I yards at a time. So I play with we run a counter bubble with West me and the bench. They don't work in They don't sign my paycheck. He's a pretty talented. I know that one in the play the whole day. Five or six.